Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. It's Endless Legends. I'm the Marmoset. And Zyos Bright Slash has Hyperium Armor, which makes him even better at what he's doing. And we want to assign you to this army, because we want to find out what the Nemesis is up to. Well, the request. Our quest is to go in here and find a weapon. With a hero alone. Okay. Um, one of these buttons... Detach leader. Go there. So technically he's alone, um, but from the point of view of the quest, but he does have an army stood right next to him. So if we do get into combat, it won't be too bad. The damage done so grave. End of the ruins. Ward of Vermis Vost says an item. It's a talisman. Shifting rage. We need three pearls. Of all the things we're lacking for, it's pearls. Can be equipped by a monk unit only. Legendary pennant of the Great Delia was taken as a trophy in battle century ago by Nemesis troops. So it gives us shifting rage. Equip the new item on at least one monk unit, integrate them into an army on the map. Then wait for the Nemesis. Wait until the Nemesis reappears on your territory. Okay. So we need 40 adamantium. We're making apparently 4 a turn. The rewards, so. We need pearls, of all things. Um, group that army back up together. Yes, I did spot a pearl. If you'd be so kind to go and get that. Winter is in four turns, so we should pick up that pretty soon. So we need to get a pearl, equip one of the monks, probably with this unit, with that item. Move on to the next phase of our quest. Any really interesting quests up? Never so really good. The sad ones. That is Adamantium. Who are the Hernus? What I remember, yeah, both far away. They do have ghost squads, so we could get up there pretty quickly, and you would never know about it. Hmm. We would have to have someone equipped with the warrior's pelt, though. So, band of merriment, which is that thing. Watchman, watchman's pelt, yeah. Decidedly useless compared to the equipment I've currently got. I think. Oh no, fourteen seventy-two, eighteen fifty-eight. So it does provide more health. I could quite easily get it equipped and go pick that quest off. It's the glorious father. Yeah, you only need two more quests and you get a very, very nice breastplate. Wow, it's a decent breastplate. Mm -hmm. Not completely to this, I'm reasonably sure. But we can actually get there anyway. So I'm not immediately feeling too badly threatened. So we need to go get that pearl. You're just going to sit ready. Uh, in fact, go on to quiet duty. Get notifications of it. Got the advanced harvester. Going to get rare eyes. Unit promotion. The skyfin's gone up. We've got empty construction queue in use. And the empire plan is coming up soon. You go to here. You've got a glorious amount of movement, haven't you? And then come back. Actually, it's well, we're getting plus four from that, so I'm not happy. No, not immediately worried about doing it. Don't think we've got. We have a chunk of this, but we're not actually producing any of it, so I hope we won't need to build any. What is? We are out of things in use, and the latest technology didn't give us anything to build, so we're going to have to lose. A chunk of production here, but it's not too devastating. I'm not immediately concerned. Uh, I will spit you guys out and send you back to be the garrison in Nola Ran. And then tell everyone else to move on. So we picked up that pearl. So we need to go to our 
all the units, grab our monks. So there's the quest item in question, Shifting Rage. So we drop Improved Life, add Shifting Rage, Shifting Rage 2, especially so Shifting Rage 1. Each consecutive counterattack increases defense and damage by 20%, and the dark form damage. So this one ups it to. Okay. The cone. Reset every third counterattack. Not necessarily and immediately seeing what the difference between the two is, but fine, I'll accept it. So we need to then grab that monk and retrofit him. Yes. Next turn, that should pop that quest. Oh, missing production, yes, I'm afraid so. Uh, in that case, let's delay rare alloys. Um, and pop something that actually gives us something to build. We're not producing titanium, but I wouldn't mind some more. Um, click, 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 click. Um, and then we will... It's a shame there's not a button that lets you bump some of these up. Yep, so I'll keep those ones, and then we'll do that one in a few turns. So three turns until industrial processing, so we're, only, we're not going to lose, we'll lose some turns of production in our capital, but so be it. Units in the army map, they wait, you, then I wait till the nemesis appears. Nemesis is back! When the Territory Empires, for the last time, destroy the nemesis that is targeting armies. Get a low mythrite, gain some cash. And there appears to be a squad of scythers. So we'll bring these guys up as well. So we'll get two squads of six. Ooh, got a we've reached level nine. Yes, I would like bonus damage on my units. Park up like that. It should be an overwhelming force to smash into these guys. Still, four units. See how much damage they are. I haven't brought these guys up. Just with this six, quite a bit of dangerous fight. Do not mess with scythers. Ready to fight. Okay, I'm happy with that deployment. Uh, can I move you slightly further around? Yeah, can't get you any closer though. I'm ready, right. We are going, right. You should hit him. Right, just a sec. Thank you. And then next up is you. We'll also let you to hit him. And then we've got actually now let's do a pinning maneuver. So you hit the one directly in front of you. You hit him to stop him from moving. You hit him to stop him from moving. And the hero um put some damage on that one. Then they'll move, but in the interim we want everyone else on this flank to focus on that one. You guys focus on the southern one. Push up. Strike. Ouch, that's stung. That's why these bad have a lot of reinforcements. No damage. And then I get 136. This is why I don't want them moving around very much. That's why I'm going to be focusing fire as best as I can. Alright, same again. You who is moving early, attack him. You who is moving early, attack him. 
you who's moving early. Alright, you hit that one. You hitting that one. You are hitting that one. And then you just make sure that we're set, hit that one. Alright, from then on in. That one, that one, that one. That one, that one, that one, and that one. And that one. Get some focus far in on that one. Ran a long way around there. But still, I'm pleased you didn't take any damage. That fight didn't go the way I wanted it to. Again, that fight didn't go the way I wanted it to. These guys are like, nasty. That was a good strike. Just keep pushing down on them. All right, so we need to keep that pace up. I'm afraid I am going to be losing some units in this case. Yes, you hit that one. All right, now further down the attack order this time. So go to defensive and run bug out. You're over there. Click, click to make sure hit him. It's the hero. Yeah, go ahead. That one. Yep, I'm happy you hit that one. No, run away. And I'll have you hit that one. In the interim, you're all going to focus far on that one, you're all going to focus far on that one, you're going to hit that one. Go. Yep, not a good exchange, but better than nothing. Ow, 200 of points of damage stings. Those two units got a little trouble. We were going to pop up and deal the damage to that one. We we're going to move in and hit that one for the kill. That's one down, thankfully. Missed you. Ow, beam. Yeah, I've got to wait for my other hero to pop up. I think we get some ranged options here. Hopefully, this will also be a kill. So I'm looking to get that one down next turn. Pretty sure I just need to make sure I've got someone. Going to attack one of these guys. Before it's their turn, yes, done. Alright, uh, injured unit back up over here. Injured unit. Switch to defensive and come back up over here. You, my dear, yes, good to see you in the fight. Get you out of trouble. Get you out of trouble. Null draw, I'll take that. That's our hero taking a bit of a rest going into melee. That should be a kill there. Not in the end, there's been a very little bit of damage. 12 points here. Then takes no damage. There we go, there's the final kill on that one. Bit of a beast. You're going to move up and get pick that one off. No, damn, these things have a tough one. That should free everyone up to focus on this one. Yeah, just everyone kill that. Who's a bit hurt? You are, but you're, you'll stay ranged. You. Get out. Everyone else, fly in. Hit. Nasty bit of retaliation damage there. Hit being up on the hill doesn't help. You'll 
Well, that was two points of damage. Dash all the way around. Strike. Move in. Strike. That's the phase full, but there we go. Down they go. End of the nemesis we have. And you'll all gather up. That was pretty brutal. Nemesis is destroyed with territories in fire. Is there hope? Do we even understand the word? The nemesis is defeated, but perhaps we are as well. The pearls rise, our mother bleeds. We feel hopeless and impotent. The fate of Auriga. can no longer quote the epistle. Whatever winter it was, long ago, in which the false grace I saved her, it was not like this dark season. I do not have the heart to take up the pen and alter the scared sex. So I put it aside and face the future without it. Without prophecies, without promises, leave with only the hands and the hearts of the LAA. This much, at least, is clear. The pearls are for us, meant to save us from whatever fate awaits her. She would save her children, her chosen, for the long winter that comes. It has happened before. The long sleep, the long dark season. At the end, and at the end, a rogue arrives in you. This is the best we can hope for. That we can bring her to a state where she can sleep the sleep of restoration and flower again. If we can achieve that, we will have hope for the LA and Mother Arena. Our role is to accompany, not to save. We must ease her into a rest, not to fight the delay it. We can reign supreme Riga, we can see to it that she goes gently into that long sleep. We have a choice but to fight on, prepare ourselves for the dark season that lies ahead. If we cannot save Margaria, we can at least survive, but Susan will remember her. Capture three cities, if enough time to them, but if there are less than three cities remaining, be the last surviving empire. So we have the Pearl of Replication, immune to winter effect penalties for everyone, and the Temple of Earth's Core, which is the Wonder Victory. So this is the last part of the quest. So one of our level units is leveled up. Population known around has grown. Havara has run out of things to build. Unfortunately, we do have enough resources for you to build a plow factory to keep yourselves busy. In the interim, dip into digging or breeding in this case. Right. So what we've entirely been charged with doing is violence. So we are going to need armies and the like. So you need to go off guard duty. No, we need to go to war. So, who amongst do we have? We've got the Volters, who are mildly jealous. They are pitying, because they have a high number of cities, and they are leery. Well, I don't like the Necrophages very much. And the thing about the Red Guys is they are so very convenient to get to opposed to the Green, so we'll be going to war that way. So, you... Come up to here. How far can you get? You can get all the way up to there. You move up to the city. You st still doesn't have anything to build. It's quite the fact we've got so much Mythbrite. Neither of these give me a combat bonus. So, with that in mind, because I don't actually need to build much, what I would like is that one gives me slightly larger armies. So, I would... don't care about those ones. I would like that one. Sooner, please. So I can so start building up more units. Brigade is just plus 20% plus 20 defense on everything. Yes, I'll have that as well. units first. They'll take a bit longer to build. In fact, I can just start building them. I don't necessarily need them now. So in that case, monks now require three pearls. I don't need to keep that on. I can get rid of that and replace it with... I have a lot of these. What does shock do? Minus two appeal, uh, less interesting. Um, the improved. Which I think I'll take regeneration since these guys do seem to keep getting their faces smacked in a lot. Apply. So I believe. Uh, units move on. You run over. You tuck up. 
Harrison. So we move more. But he's still within the district, so he should heal reasonably well. You are not building anything. Uh, you've got plenty of things to build, that's fine. You've got my pyramid structures. You don't have anything to build, so in that case I would like you to build. We're going up to six, so I would like one, two, one, two. So we're going up to eight, so I'd like more of those. I'm happy with getting prioritizing growth, but I will put a little bit. If I smash them all to science, I do get things a little quicker. That suits me. There's another city, you're building a fire factory. What about if you can complain about not having anything else to do? Oh, it's the Arab army now building a fire factory, which I just queued up. Fair enough. That'll take you three turns. So I think I will do the same again. Just dump some more into science. Like so. Well, I did just boost my dust production just a little bit. So I can perform my refit just that little bit easier. So I will do the refit here. Yes. A fair chunk of this stuff coming in. I've not got a unit. Apparently I've only got 2.5 foot army. You're still busy extracting. Oh, you can't extract if there's a resource thing there. Interesting. So you're actually better off. Well, I'm going to cancel that then. Yeah, I know. Because I get, well, unless there is another purple and spikes I'm looking for. Purple and spiky. There is not another one in neutral territory. Fair enough. Hell, I'm not actually convinced there isn't. Oh, there's one all the way over there. They have got quite a cornering on the, uh, what's it called? Hyperion market. So with the extractor now built on that, actually more to my benefit to park you on this one to get more of that stuff. Which will bump me up to a higher rating, so we'll ditch that. You've still got plenty of things you can build, you're fervent. So I'm happy with that. Uh, let's grab. What is the food? Let's grab science first. What we do for the Sierra Lake? More cash will be too bad. You produce other bits and pieces as well, and then I'll go and just tack in everything else. <laughs> Done. Nice long build queue. You'll be there for a while. I get Signal Corps, which allows me to put those new units into an army. You come up to here, and we'll just end the turn. And that'll be it for that episode. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Endless Legend. We are now in winter. Fortunately, being the LAA, we don't really mind winter. It's fine. It's where we get our beloved pearls. So, doing a bit of pearl dashing, actually, while we wait for the uh, new equipment to come in. So I do these bits and pieces, I might look at actually getting some real heavy gear and equipment on our units and see what we can get for. Alright, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe. Bye for now.